Hey guys, welcome to Native Ark. We're always looking for volunteers and you guys might be able to help. So we're going to have a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes of what our volunteers get up to. And you can see here we've got two very cute kangaroos which we're not allowed to touch and one other kangaroo that's come to say hello as well. So stay with me and we'll see what we get up to at Native Ark. No touching buddy. So it's really important with our pre-release kangaroos that we don't interact with them. These animals need to be released back into the wild. So when they come up to us, it's hands off, no touching. Come through guys. So let's go and have a chat with Karen, our rehabilitation coordinator, and we'll see what she's up to. Always make sure doors are locked so we don't get any animal escapes. And we'll see where Karen's at. Can you tell everybody what you've just been doing? Yeah, we've just made up an enclosure for a queen dog to go into, so we've put in some mulch, so it has somewhere to dig into, and put in some nice little leaves and branches in there for it to keep more cleanly. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's not all, you know, cuddly animals. You do have to do a bit of work when you volunteer, but it's all part of the fun. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thanks. Helps when you can get your feet. Spray our feet. Keep our feet clean, don't want to infect our animals. Our cameraman's already sprayed their feet. This is Karen Clarkson, everybody. Karen Clarkson is our rehabilitation coordinator and probably one of the very first people you'll meet when you join Native Ark. So Karen, can you tell everybody what you're doing here in this enclosure? Yeah, so every day we have our volunteers uh, rake over the mulch in the enclosures just to keep it fresh. We will also use a brush to uh, scrub any perches and any feces that are on the perches. We will also use a, second, a different brush, clean all the water, troughs out, put fresh water, and generally just check, have a good look at the animals. Um, he's having a good look at me at the moment. And just check their welfare. Uh, and then they'll get fed three times a day, or these guys will get fed twice a day. Uh, some will get fed three times a day. Beautiful. Um, we do have the food for these ones, but I just noticed Vinny's out. Do we want to go and show everybody Vinny? Yeah, great. So this is Vinny. Vinny is one of our residents. He's a southern hairy nosed wombat. Uh, Vinny is non-releasable, so he won't be released, but he will remain at Native Ark for the rest of his life, and he's a really good ambassador for his species. So what we do is we bring members of the public, school students in here, and we talk about the important you know, role wombats play in the environment, and also the threats that they're now facing out there, and things people can do to help wombat conservation. What we might do, check the camera. I'm not going there. Let's go check out Vinny. I guess he doesn't want to see us, does he, Karen? Other volunteers are doing but our water bird enclosures. You can see some of our lovely volunteers are feeding our little ducklings down here. So we've got plenty of little ducklings this time of year that require a lot of food. And then if you come this way, there we go. We've got our volunteers. Now, PPE is really important. When you've got water birds with pointy beaks like this, and we've got nice shiny eyes, PPE is really important. So you can see our volunteers are doing the right thing. Hey, Tanya. Oh, hi, Dean. Hey, okay. um, uh, We're making a video on what it is to volunteer at Native Ark. So can you tell everybody what you're doing? 
Oh well, I'm sorting out the washing. We've got five days that we're doing the washing. We have lots of birds in, so we have to make sure it, our infection control is um, pretty hot. And, and so we uh, we get about eight days of washing a day. Yeah. So the washing that we do, obviously, you know, we deal with. Birds, reptiles, mammals, this time of year ducklings, so a lot of fecal matter on these towels. So our volunteers, whilst a lot of real, you know good fun volunteering at Native Ark, there is a lot of work involved, a lot of washing, a lot of cleaning, a lot of food preparation. So we're going to wander over and see what Karen is doing, we get some more food prep. Probably one of the most important things with the rehabilitation of animals, especially when they, well through all stages, but when they get into the rehab area and out to the pre-release enclosures, is that they have a diet that's suitable to their species. Our aim here is to release them back into the wild, so we need to get them strong, eating well and healthy, again, so that they can um, survive when they get back out. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the meals that we prepare here are for our rehabilitation animals and our collection, but we also prepare meals for our intensive care animals. So we'll wander upstairs and we'll have a look at our intensive care room and we'll have volunteers get up through there. We're going to talk a bit quiet because we're in the intensive care areas and the animals up here are very stressed because they're obviously you know, in a lot of pain, they've got injuries. We're just going to have a quick walk into the intensive care room and just see what our volunteers are doing. We're going to get a quick little video on why people should volunteer at Native Ark. So oh, okay. tell us what you're doing and why should people be a volunteer? Well, right now we just finished giving spark to this uh, little magpie that got admitted today. Mm -hmm. Um, which I can say eight months ago I had never even held a magpie and now I'm you know tube feeding so that's pretty amazing. Um, he's doing okay, he's just a little bit um, dehydrated I think. Maybe. And what happened to him? So we were just looking at that actually. So he was found in the backyard you know, you've got um, the, and the uh, yeah, so he's just been orphaned. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I'll keep up a good now, one. with a little bit of training, after you know quite a while working at Native Ark, you can even volunteer and help in our vet hospital. So let's check out what our vet Sue and one of our work experience students are getting up to in the vet building. Can we come in, guys? Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 What actually happened to the tail this year? Not sure. Um, he kind of came in, the very tip was an aquatic, and then it kind of started with his, his hair and the end of it started to weep, and then it pretty much just sloughed off the right. half of his tail. Yeah. So, as you can see, we grow a lot of our own vegetables. We've got about 150 ducklings at the moment, so we need all the greens that we can get. And we go through a lot of washing, as we've already mentioned, so if you really like doing washing at home, come to Native Ark. Rachel, Rachel's just come back from our school program. Um, where have you been? What have you been doing? Just tell our lovely viewers. Um, we've been at a school session. Um, a group of Year 7s had us down, uh, which was absolutely wonderful. It's really great to get out and see see the kids, and they get to meet all of our wildlife as well. So they get in here. Yeah. We have our naked dragon and our bearded dragon. So we have Bert and Fluffy. So guys, if you've got a passion for wildlife and wildlife conservation and you can spare six hours a week, we'd love to have you. So jump on our website, fill out an application form and we'll see you and you can become part of the Native Ark team. because we have at the moment about 150 ducklings that we're trying to feed and we've got plenty more washing so if you really like doing your washing come to Native Ark. Rachel's just returned from a school program. Rachel. Oh, oh you got it.